Alright guys, so we noticed an issue with the hands that we modeled out in the last video. Uh, if we select our armature here and go to our pose mode, and we select this bone here, and we rotate it on the x-axis down like this, you can see that it's it's making the, the hand pop up at that knuckle there, right around here, and it's uh, bringing some of this finger down as well. Uh, that's because this bone isn't weight, weight painted properly. So what we're going to have to do is go through and alter the weights of each of these first bones here. Uh, the other ones seem to be fine uh, when we rotate them down a little bit. They don't look too terrible, but these first ones here are, are really messing with the hand shape when we bend them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our object mode here. We're going to select the armature first. Then we're going to shift select the hand here. And then we're going to go over and go into our weight paint mode. All right. And right here you can see the weights of the bone that you have selected. Uh, to select a bone, you hold control and then left click on it. And you can see the different bones that we're selecting here. Um, the weights here, you can see just how much this bone affects this finger. So like red is going to be 100% affected and then orange 50, green even less. So um, you can see it kind of has a fall off. So it affects this area and then it doesn't touch the rest of the hand. All right. And if we click over here on the bones that we want to modify, you can see how much of the hand is being affected by that bone. I mean, that's way too much, right? Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is go over to our tool section right here. Um, then we're going to go ahead and set our weight right here to zero and leave our strength at one. And we're just going to start painting. Uh, you know what? Before we paint, what we're, we're going to want to apply some modifiers. So let's apply our subdivision here just so we have more vertices to paint onto. All right. And now we're going to start painting. You can see as I paint, the color changes. And we're basically going to do this for all of the fingers. I'm going to get up here, paint this down. It's looking good. This guy, get underneath. And this happened because uh, when we childed our hand mesh to our armature, we selected the automatic weights. And typically Blender does a, a pretty decent job with their automatic weights. Um, but it seems like the calculation was a bit off on this model for some reason. Uh, so we're just going to fix it real quick. Almost there. Make sure we get all the stuff that shouldn't be affected. All right. And now let's go back into our pose mode over here. Go object, click on the armature, and pose mode. And now let's rotate that finger and see how it looks. R, X. You can see now we're not deforming that part of the hand up here. And it looks pretty, pretty good. Let's see here. Let's leave it in that pose. Then go back into object mode, select our armature, our hand mesh, then go to weight paint mode, and let's start painting a little bit in this pose mode. 
maybe correct some stuff that we don't think looks right. See, let's paint on a little bit more weight right here and see what that looks like. So to do that, we're going to go over here. We're going to take our weight slider, move it all the way up. And let's just click a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right, that looks too much. So let's hit Control Z and do that one. All right. And we're just going to go through and do that for all of our fingers. So uh, we're probably just going to speed through that real quick, fast forward you guys through it, because it's pretty simple. Once you do one and you understand how it works, you can uh, pretty much do it yourself. It's not that complicated. It's just a little tedious. So to move on to the next bone, we're going to hit Control, select the bone we want to change, and then start painting. All right, guys, so this is the end result of the weight painting that we just did to fix the hand. Uh, I basically went through and just weight painted each of these bones here um, because they were really causing a problem. They were, when we tried to ball up the hand into a fist, they were really deforming the wrong parts of the hand. Uh, so if you go ahead and, and look at how this is affecting the hand here, it's, it's only affecting about just a bit above the knuckle, um, and underneath it's even less. Uh, the pinky was really a pain here. It was, uh, it was affecting pretty much his whole back area of the hand, and it was really looking, looking really bad when we tried to ball up the hand into a fist or just bend this uh, bone in any way. Um, now you can see it's not looking too bad if we go into our... Uh, pose mode here, rotate it on the x-axis. It doesn't look, look terrible. Um, looks about where it needs to be. If we go back into our weight paint mode, there we go, and we look at this bone. I also painted this thumb bone here because um, it had the same issue as a pinky. It was just deforming this whole area of the hand and it was not looking good either. Um, and I know it can be really tough to get the right weight painting, the right weights for the vertices and, and the bones. Uh, if you, if your weight painting and it doesn't come out quite right at the end, um, you can go ahead and go to the Git repo and download this hand, uh, just this file specifically. You don't have to download the whole repo, just navigate to wherever you can find this hand file. Um, download that, throw that into the project, and continue on with the series. Um, and I guess you could do that for any art assets if you don't consider yourself an artist, or if you don't consider yourself a programmer, you could do that with any of the programming assets. Um, I believe in the next video, Steven should be uh, texturing this hand out and uh, showing you guys how to make it look really nice and uh, high quality 3D model. Um, so go ahead and check that out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters. So don't stop, get it, get it until you're chatter headed. Watch the way I navigate. Uh -huh.